Now at 11, crashing classrooms and scaring students, YouTubers are filming prank videos and posting them online. So far, it's happened at several schools here in Southern California. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. And I'm Robert Kovacic. Chuck has the night off. We're also streaming right now on Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV. One school, USC, is not taking this lightly. They are filing a lawsuit saying the men caused terror and disruption among students. NBC4's Lauren Coronado is live from USC after talking with a student who witnessed one of these incidents. Lauren. Robert Colleen, that student I spoke with describes the incident as chaotic students running from the classroom just to find out it was all a prank and it wasn't the YouTubers first time doing it. Everyone in the building is pouring out. Students are running, students are crying, they're screaming. Freshman Avery Bystrom is detailing the moments she watched dozens of students run from the Mark Taper Hall of Humanities building at USC. She was in that very building moments prior. I was scared that there was an armed man inside. She says she ran to her dorm in fear. It wasn't until hours later that she found out YouTubers were behind the panic. The whole day I was very shaken up. It was kind of hard for me to focus. According to a complaint filed by USC, it's the third time the pranksters have targeted this building, calling them classroom takeovers. In this latest incident just two weeks ago, the university says one of the men interrupted a Holocaust lecture and was dressed as a member of the Russian mafia. USC is accusing the defendants of causing physical and emotional damage to students. Also filed in the complaint, a YouTube link, which shows the pranksters targeting other so universities too, like UCLA. How's everybody doing today? My name is Professor Chester Mitchell. Students we spoke with say they're not taking the joke lightly. Just growing up in this wake of school shootings and all that sort of thing, us students have to be wary at all times. I definitely don't think that's okay, um, whether or not like they meant it as a joke or not. As for Bystrom, she says she's pleased with the university's response and hopes the YouTubers are held accountable. I don't think that people should be allowed to get away with putting students in that position where they have to fear for their life. Yeah, you just feel for those students. Now, a judge has issued a temporary restraining order against those YouTubers that banned them from certain parts of the campus. I also want to note that we tried reaching out to the YouTubers, but couldn't get a hold of them. Reporting live from USC, I'm Lauren Coronado, NBC4 News.